So there's time for another video and this time it's going to be this mosquito killer or fly zapper from China of course. It has a nice package, a switch, a European plug, so it looks okay. Let's open it up. A plug, there's the grid and some LEDs, nice switch. There's some marking and the marking is like worn off, even though it's new, that's strange. It says 110 to 220 volts, 50 hertz and 1 watt and of course made in China. It has four screws in it and what's this? Some piece of metal. Strange. There are other such pieces of metal here and here. And by the way, it's called Electron Go Out Mosquito Small Night Lamp. And also the manual is quite interesting. Need extinguish mosquito. So I will probably prepare my fire extinguisher before testing. And attention, if this lamp work and have mosquito, please not use hand touch. That's a good point. If you want to read the entire text, you can freeze the video for a while. And now, testing time. Let's plug it in and turn it on. It seems to work. There are four LEDs in it and they flicker a little bit, so they probably run at 50 Hz at just one half cycle. But the LEDs are blue, they are not ultraviolet, so I'm not sure this is going to attract mosquitoes or flies. But some high voltage is definitely there. And it seems to have no discharging resistor. But now let's open it up. There are four screws in it. And that's it. Well, there is some circuit board. And there's nothing holding it in place, so it just loosely in it. That's nice. There's the board with those LEDs. This one has mostly capacitors and some diodes and resistors. And there's the switch. I can see five capacitors, two resistors and four diodes. So I guess there is a multiplier with four capacitors and four diodes. And one inrush resistor maybe. And there is also a capacitive dropper for the LEDs with some inrush resistor and discharging resistor. One resistor is missing. So. I guess the multiplier has no inrush resistor. There are four LEDs. And they seem to be in pairs. And those pairs are connected in anti-parallel. So let's draw a schematic. So here's the schematic. The mains comes through a switch. It goes into a multiplier. The multiplier has four stages and it's divided into a positive and negative side. Each one is multiplying by two. And the mains is charging this capacitor and then the voltage of this capacitor is adding to the mains and charging this one to a double voltage. And the same is happening in this one but in the other polarity. So if the mains voltage is 220 volts then this one is charging to 310 and this one to 620. 
This one is charging to the same voltage but in the other polarity. So the total voltage is 1240 volts. The power supply for those LEDs is just a classic capacitive dropper with a capacitor, discharging resistor and an inrush resistor. They have no bridge rectifier so they are connected in anti-parallel and in each half cycle only one LED in the pair will light up. This capacitor is rated generously but those two capacitors are only rated for 400 volts but in operation they see 620 volts so it doesn't look like the best design. So the device works but it definitely could be made better. Those LEDs could have a bridge rectifier and they probably should be ultraviolet LEDs, not the blue LEDs. Also those capacitors should be rated for more than just 400 volts. There definitely should be a fuse and those capacitors should have a discharging resistor. One more detail of the board. And this is the discharging resistor and it definitely seems to me a little bit too small for mains voltage. The safety of this device is, well, quite questionable. You can very easily put your fingers through the bars and touch the grid. Those gaps are really big and those bars are really soft. Like this. On the top of it, you can take this one off with almost no effort. The grid has 1240 volts in it and it's not isolated from mains. One half cycle of the mains, the positive one goes through those diodes into this side of the grid and the negative half cycle of the mains goes through those diodes into the other side of the grid. Let's check it using a light bulb. When I touch just one side of the grid, it lights up half brightness and when I touch both, it lights up full brightness. Be enhanced, go out mosquito lamp, the go out kill strand should often clean glue mosquito on metal, clean time first cut power supply, open face plate, use soft brush clean. They are apparently trying to say that you should cut the power before you clean it, but they don't say anything about the capacitors holding the charge. Those tiny pieces of metal probably come from the holes cut for the screws. This cover has no screws, it just clicks in and it comes off almost instantly. So it's definitely dodgy. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.